In this clip, I want to talk to you about water containers. You need a large water container, a quite big one, something like a two litre ice cream container. Um, some people deal with two water containers, but I find that too hard. The larger the container that you have, the less dirty the water will become. I like white because then I can see if the water's getting too dirty or maybe even a clear type thing. I like plastic because it doesn't break. But this is far too small. This one um, I've only got, you can't see, but I've only got about two centimetres in it. In my big um, ice cream container, I filled that up almost to the top. It's got about um, oh, nearly 10 centimetres of water in it and it's going to take a long time to get that to be dirty. Fill your containers to the top. Don't just put a tiny little bit amount of water in the bottom. And why is that? Well, you're wa washing your dirty brush in a container and then digging fresh paint out of your paint wells. You don't want to be washing your brush in super dirty water that you would have if you had a tiny little container. The bigger your container is, the longer the water will be able to go without you having to be interrupted and getting more water. You need a lot of water to rinse your brush really well. Contrary to popular belief, water is often not as dirty as you think it is. It's the brush that's dirtying your waters. You rinse one brush load of, of alizarin crimson in that one, or one in this one, the little tiny water, and you can see the difference already. Um, but I do want to uh, do a little test. I'm going to put another brush load of um, crimson in there and another in there. Rinse the brush really well so that there's no crimson in it. And to test how dirty the water is, I'm going to paint a line across here. Now you can really see my water is quite pink in the big container. But when I paint it on the paper, it's non-existent. The other one, you can definitely see a pink tinge of, of um, paint in that water. So it's an illustration of um, although your water might look dirty, um, it's offered not. You can test it by just uh, painting on some plain white paper and seeing what colour it is. Um, and the smaller your rinsing water container and the less water you put in it, uh, the dirtier it's going to get quickly.